today I hope to teach everybody something that I learned a very valuable lesson from. Lately here in San Diego it's been pretty uh, gloomy out and it's been raining actually a lot. And uh, what happens when it rains in a place where it doesn't rain very often, um, a lot of pebbles and rocks start to show up in places that you normally don't see them. So I was happily cruising down the freeway uh, one morning to Cars and Coffee and all of a sudden in front of me, whack, this huge rock, not even rock, just a little actually pebble, but I literally washed it come from uh, the back of a car and just came up, hit me right in the windshield, and what do you know, I got a nice little spider crack in my car. So for those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically like just a little pebble size, little little like spiral type kind of crack. Um, it's nothing too serious, most insurances cover it and you can just go down to your local like little window repair place and they'll fix it like that. Um, so I was going to do that, but then it decided to keep raining for the next couple days. So to do that little kind of replacement, just a little, like to cure a little like spiral crack or spider crack, you basically like just park outside and they do something with your car, put some chemical on it, and it basically just like glasses it over and it fixes it, but you need the sun for the UV to like cure it and whatnot. I don't know the science behind it, but that's essentially it. So since I wasn't able to do that because it was raining and there was no sun to be, to be using, uh, I just, you know, I didn't think I didn't think much of it. I was like, all right, well, I'll just do it, you know, when the sun comes back out. Well, I didn't think of this at the time, but it makes total perfect sense now. With So in San Diego, it's about 75 degrees on an average day, and then around 90, it gets about 40 degrees. So especially with the storm, it's been like a 30 degree difference every single day. And with the, with the heat and the cooling, it expands the glass and all that type of sciencey stuff. And then what happens? Um, my little baby spider crack, which was gonna cost nothing to get replaced, turned into a massive two foot long crack down my windshield. So, so it's awesome. So yeah, now I have this big crack in my windshield. I don't even know if insurance is gonna fix. I'll know actually by the end of today. Hopefully they will, but if not, I'll have to get a whole new windshield at my expense, which sucks, especially, especially around this modding time of the year. But anyway guys, I really hope that you can learn from this lesson and in the future if you ever get a spider crack or just, just, just get it fixed as soon as possible. I was going to eventually, I was gonna get it fixed but I just didn't have the time with the sun and whatnot. So if you need or have one done, you should get that fixed as soon as possible because if you don't, it could turn into one of these and that's not mad. So again, just to recap guys, I just want everybody here to learn from my mistake um, and heating and expansion things, something to keep in the back of your mind. So if you don't get that fixed sooner or later, uh, if you're in the right climate, it's going to turn into a big long crack and nobody wants that. So guys, I hope uh, you found this to be entertaining because it makes me very upset. I hope everybody here is having happy holidays and spending some good time with their family and I will see you guys next time. So It's cold. How are you not cold? I'm making a day in the life for YouTube to say hi to like thousands of people. What's up fellas? Yeah. <laughs>